Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to an exciting Bible class series and our Immerse book series. I'm your teacher, Sister Ivory. Each week, I look forward to presenting God's word in a fun and easy way that is sure to help you become great kids on your Christian journey. Today, we discuss lesson eight. God sometimes provides in surprising ways. Who likes surprises? Well, let's get started. In lesson eight today, we will focus on how God helps Elisha and a family in Shunem. Scripture text comes from 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 8 through 37. The focus today is God sometimes provides in surprising ways. We will need the following materials, a pencil and a pen, and then of course our stickers for lesson eight. We will be in our student handbook on pages 19 and 20 today. So everyone let's bow our heads and close our eyes. This is how we communicate to who? To God, that's right everyone. Dear God, thank you so much for blessing us to see another day that was in promise. We just thank you for the known and the unknown, for just blessing us, God, sometimes even surprising us with things that are beyond our wildest dreams. We know that you know our needs and you know our wants, and we just are happy to know that you can provide those things for us. We look forward to learning about your word today and Second Kings, and we hope that we can apply it to our lives going forward in this new year. In Jesus' name, amen. So today we're going to actually sing, I Keep Falling in Love with Him. We are so blessed that we have a surprising guy, and we love surprises. It makes us happy, right? So let's go ahead and sing, I Keep Falling in Love with Him. I keep falling in love with Him over and over and over and over again. I keep falling in love with Him over and over and over and over again. He gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what a love between my Lord and I. Keep falling in love with Him over and over and over, over again. He keeps blessing me over and over and over and over and over again. He keeps blessing me over and over and over and over and over again. He gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what a love between my Lord and I. Keep blessing me over and over and over and over and over again. That's why I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. He gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what a love between my Lord and I. Keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. All right, everybody. Great job. Great job. <laughs> so let's go ahead and recite our memory verse uh, for this second unit. And it's in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 17. Everybody, let's say it together. The Lord, your God, is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome. I just love that whole mighty and awesome. I always want to just throw up my hands in the air with a fist and just do mighty and awesome because he is, isn't he? <laughs> All right. So let's talk about the people that we're going to learn about in today's story. So we do have a woman or a wife, 
and her husband that we will speak about in today's story. And then we have their cute son here. We'll talk about him, okay? And of course, we have Mr. Elisha. Everybody say Elisha, Elisha. All right, good job. And then lastly, we have Gehazi. And everybody say Gehazi, Gehazi. All right, so we're gonna learn about all these wonderful people in today's story. So let's go ahead and read from 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 8 through 37. Elisha was a prophet of God. One day he visited the city of Shunem. Everybody say Shunem, Shunem, great job. A woman invited him to eat a meal with her family. So whenever Elisha went to Shunem, he was invited to stay and share a meal with the woman and her family. This woman encouraged her husband to build a room for Elisha on the roof of the house. The woman had a bed, a table, a chair, and a lamp in the room. One day, when Elisha was staying in that room, he asked his servant Gehazi to go and get the woman. Elisha said to the woman, you have done so much for us. Now I would like to do something for you. Gehazi told Elijah that the woman and her husband had no son. So Elisha knew what he would do. Next year at this time, he told her, you will be carrying a son in your arms. The woman thought Elijah was teasing her, but Elijah's prophecy came true and the woman had a son. The little boy grew up and was able to help his father work. One day, the boy became very sick and died. The woman laid her son on the bed in Elisha's room and then called for her husband. She said, let me have one servant and a donkey. I must find Elisha, the man of God, quickly. When Elisha saw her coming, he sent Gehazi out to meet her. But when the woman came close to Elisha, she got down on the ground at his feet. Gehazi tried to move her away. But Elisha stopped him. Leave her alone. She is very upset. But God has not told me why she is upset. Elisha called Gehazi and said, do not talk to anyone. Take my staff and go to the boy. Lay my staff on the boy's face. Then Gehazi left. The woman wanted Elijah to go to her house. So Elisha went. When he got there, the little boy was lying on his bed. Elisha went in and shut the door. Elisha prayed to God. Then Elisha carefully laid on the boy and the boy became alive again. When the woman came in, Elijah said, take your son. When the woman saw what Elijah had done, she was so grateful that she fell on the ground at his feet. Then she and her son, who was now alive, walked out together. What an amazing and incredible story. I mean, just to think about your son not being alive and now he's alive again. That's fantastic news. So now we will go ahead and do our work out of the workbooks, okay? So let's start. On page 19, everyone, I'll give you a few seconds to get your workbook out. Okay, great. So as you see on uh, page 19, so as you see on page 19, they have the story called A Big Surprise. So what we're gonna do here, or the first thing we're gonna do is always start off by writing our names down, okay? Then we're gonna read the sentences, cross out the statements that are not true. So I'm gonna give everybody a few minutes to read over everything. And um, under Elijah, there's gonna be one of those three statements that's not true. So you're gonna have to get your pen and put an X on it, okay? And we're gonna do that for each person. So I'm gonna give you a few minutes there and then we'll go over each one, all right? Okay, fantastic. Okay, now we're back, everyone. So let's start with Elisha. Let's read the three statements and you all tell me which one's not true. 
Okay, the first triangle, green triangle says, I was a prophet of God. The second one says, I told the woman to go away and leave me alone. The third one says, God worked through me to bring a young boy back to life. Which one is not true? That's right, the second one. I told the woman to go away and leave me alone. He didn't do that, did he? <laughs> In fact, he wanted uh, her to come uh, to him so he could know what's going on. All right, the second one. Let's read about the woman from Shunem. The first blue triangle says, my husband and I gave Elijah a tent to live in. The second one says, when my son died, I went to find Elijah. The third one said, I bowed at Elijah's feet because my son had come back to life. So which one is not true? That's right, the top one, right? The very first one. She didn't tell Elijah to go live in a tent. What did she do? She encouraged her husband to build him a room on the top of their roof. All right, and lastly, we have Gehazi. The first, I believe, is that brown or is that purple to you all? <laughs> We're gonna go with purple. Uh, the first triangle says, I was Elijah's servant. The second one says, I took a bike ride with Elijah. The third said, Elijah told me to go and lay his staff on a boy who had died. So which one is not true? We're going to cross it out. That's right. The second one, he did not take a bike ride with Elijah, did he? Nope. He actually walked with Elijah. All right. So let's go to the next activity that we have on page 20. You all are doing so well. Very excited. So here is the fun part. Whoop, whoop. So here you get to add stickers, okay? It says, tell about some surprising things God has done. So you're going to get these stickers from a few pages back, okay, where your stickers are located. Look for, it's going to say lesson eight. There should be four stickers. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to read each balloon. I love balloons. Do you all love balloons? These are perfect for surprises, right? When I see balloons, I think of a party, birthday party, stuff like that. So just go ahead and read each balloon and then place the sticker in the appropriate balloon. Then at the bottom here, I want everyone to draw a picture that shows the time when God did something surprising for you. All right. So I'm going to give everyone a few minutes. All right, everyone. All right, let's go ahead and start the party. I love this, God's surprise party. All right, the first one says, God helped David be brave and defeat Goliath. So this is kind of like our review, right? Because we're going to go and uh, place the correct sticker on each balloon for uh, what's correct, okay? So kind of have to think back of some stories that we've already talked about. But God helped David be brave and defeat Goliath. So what did you guys place on here? That's right. You guys put the picture of Goliath. <laughs> All right. The next one. God made this in six days. Which sticker did you all put for the red balloon? You got it. We placed the world, right? God created the world. The next balloon is the orange one. God made a special promise to Noah. Which sticker did you put for here? Yep, look at those beautiful colors. He put the rainbow, right? And can anyone get a bonus point and tell me what the rainbow symbolizes? Yep, you got it. Y'all are some smart kids. It means that God is not going to destroy the world with water, but with what? Fire next time. Okay, and he is coming back, isn't he? And the last balloon here, which is the green one, says God brought a young boy back to life. And that's the story we talked about today. So everyone should have placed a little boy in the green balloon. So I can't wait to see your drawings here. All right, so as you can see here, uh, we had Ivana go ahead and draw hers. <laughs> and it's a Merry Christmas present, right? So a lot of people celebrate the holidays. Sometimes you may get surprise gifts for your birthday, or if you did great in school, at the end of the year, you may get a surprise, right? Uh, so anyways, I'm sure everyone uh, has wonderful uh, and cool surprises of pictures, you know, that you have drawn or colored here, okay? Fantastic. You guys did a great job. 
Well, I have to tell you guys, y'all didn't surprise me this week. I know that you all are very smart, right? That's not surprising to me at all. That's something that I definitely know. But we're really excited that God does surprises us through his provisions for us because it's always a nice bonus, right? We already know God has us. When he does those extra things that are just like out of the blue, it just makes us happy and it makes us just appreciate him even more. So I love you all. This has been a really great series. I do hope everyone has an amazing week and a wonderful new year. Take care.